Canva website design tutorial. How to use Canva for website design. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you guys how you can get started with web design on Canva. So let's get into it. Now, a lot of people know about Canva through presentations. However, a underrated but super helpful feature that I find on Canva is its website design. Creating web designs on Canva is simple, it's easy, and it makes a great website, especially if you just need something that's a placeholder or a website that doesn't have, you know, a lot of shopping features. If you just want a portfolio out there, if you just want a online presence, then building it on Canva is super easy and efficient. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is log on to your Canva account and click on websites on over here. Now, if you scroll down, it's going to show you a bunch of different templates. You can even just search for website over here in your search bar and click on over here. Now, this will show you all the templates available for websites. There are free templates as well as paid templates available, and you can really find anything in your particular niche. You can search for your niche if you have something in mind. So just taking a look at the template, there are quite a few different designs. I am going to use it a portfolio design because I want to build like a simple portfolio. So we are going to maybe just browse around a little. And I really like this template over here. So I think I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to just click on this. And then this will show you, you know, the overall website design. And then I can just click on customize this template over here to get started. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, websites are longitudinal usually. So it's going to show you your website like this. Now, another thing to keep in mind is your navigation panel settings. You can set those later on as well. You will see you have preview options to see how it looks like without navigation panel so this design as it is however if you want to build a navigation panel you can click on with navigation when you are publishing and this will build a navigation panel on the top where people can jump to a particular section of your website now i'm going to zoom in a little to show you guys how we're going to start customization so first off i'm going to change the name to jane doe and we're going to animate this a little. So I can click on this and then I'm going to change the effect. I'm going to do a wipe effect maybe, or maybe a drift effect, tectonic. I think I'm gonna remove the animations first to see what it's going to look like. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select the entire page. So this is our entire page and I'm going to click on remove all animations. And then I'm going to animate each individual item so i think for the text i'm going to go with the fade and then the rest of the smaller text i'm going to animate together and this is just going to be a breathe effect and then for the images i am going to add a bit of a different effect so i'm going to click on the images so i'm going to click on both of these images together and i'm going to see what they're going to look like all together and I'm going to choose maybe the fade one looks pretty good for images as well. So I'm going to add that. And now I can see, you know, what it's going to look like when someone opens up. Although animations are not a super major part, it still is good to have a good animation style ready for your website because it makes your website more scrollable. The crawlability increases and people spend more time. So after that, I can start by adding my own images so I can remove these images and add my own as well. And if you want a particular frame style, you can also do that. So you can just search for frame over here. And then we have these frames and let's say I want a ripped paper effect over here. So there are a bunch of ripped paper ones and I'm going to add paper frame or maybe like this one over here, something similar to this. For now, I'm just going to add that. I'm going to add torn paper frame. And then I am going to use something with a bit more of a curve than this one. I think I'm going to go for this one over here. And I can just increase the size of this like so. And then I can insert my own image, whatever image it might be. I'll just search for furniture over here. And then I'm just going to click on see all using this image and then i'm just going to place the image like so move this up a little and maybe resize the frame a little 
to better fit our website design. So I think it looks pretty good. Now I can click on preview over here and this is what the home page or the first page of our website currently looks like. Now I can get started with the next section. Now Keep in mind that you can do a lot more with this as well. You can go into elements and add uh, unique elements as well. So if I want to add like a star, a, you know, something that's a bit more dynamic, then let's say I want to add maybe something like this. I'll just add that and I can click on layer and I'll send it to the back layer and layer it to the back. It's a bit dense, so I'm just going to place this over here. And then after that, what I can do is I can also animate this as well. So it appears as a pop or something that's going to be a bit more glimmering. So we can also do that over here as well. But I'm just going to keep this a bit simplistic. So I'm going to just keep it as it is a simple effect. And I can also make it slightly more transparent as I think it would look better like that so just fading in so the seamless transition between pages is also going to look pretty good now if you add elements like these on canva which are already animated so these are like sparkling elements these will also appear as they are on the website so the way that you're adding it over here the way it looks like over here is going to appear the same on your website which is great for beginners that are building sites because it's very difficult to figure out animation with code and all of that it can be super complicated so using these types of tools can help you in building a visually appealing website without having to learn all the technical knowledge that goes behind it now, once you are satisfied with your website, you can preview the entire site or just click on share to share it with a friend. However, if you want to make uh, your website public and get your free domain name, you can even do that on Canva now as well. So you're going to click on publish website over here and this will lock your design. So now you have two options if you want to resize this on the mobile version. So I will enable that option or you can disable it if you primarily want this for desktop use only. And you can choose with or without navigation. So I want it with navigation. And then we have two a bunch of different options. So we can pick out a free domain, purchase a new domain or use our existing one. I'm going to go with free domain and Canva gives you five free domains. And from here, you're going to enter your, you know, slug that you want like this so this is going to use your username and then dot my dot canvas site slash and that slash is where you're going to enter the business name that you might have then you can enter your page description as well as password protection seo visibility as well as preview links and then just click on publish over here and your canva website is now ready to go so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with canva if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and just to show you guys the finished website here it is